Hey guys, so I was out here this morning trying to figure out what my goals are for this garden in 2019. And I feel that I have achieved in acquiring all the fruit trees that I want. I'm sure one or two will pop up here and there because there is a few things that I just want to try it out. But what I feel that my garden's missing is something that I haven't focused my time and energy into researching and that is um, flowers. Most of the flowers that I have here in my garden are actually flowers that came with the house and in fact I removed a lot of them just because I wanted space to put my edible plants, trees, and shrubs. But now that I have established most of my fruit trees where I want them to be and I know how this garden is flowing, um, as you guys can see, I have everything in containers, at least 90% of it. Um, I can at one point choose to remove the container and put the tree where it's sitting. If I decide to do that, um, you know, I'll do it. But for now, they're in containers. Um, but what I do want to add is something that I need your help with. Some of you guys specialize more in flowers and coloring your garden um, and I definitely definitely need your help in that area because as you can see my focus has always been edible landscape and um, succulents I love succulents because they are just so easy to care for and you can do so much with them you can go to your garden and just snip some of those succulents do make a gift Give it to someone and your succulents will keep on growing. As you guys can see, I have some succulents growing on here. This was my little fairy garden that has overgrown over the winter. I'm going to do a touch-up when spring comes. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing how that goes, leave it in the comments down below so I know to make the video. And just I'm going to touch up this whole area. But as you can see, there's a lot of space like here the backing of that wall i would love to have some flowers growing back there and some flowers popping out of here some flowers popping out of here and even some that are popping out of this to do an extra layer of flowers and i would absolutely would love any help you guys can give me please leave it in the comments down below i want something preferably that i don't have to be um be planning every year something that maybe could die down for the winter and pop back up in spring uh, i want to have my garden as low maintenance as possible um, and that's the reason why i want something that can go dormant or can stay uh, for example this i'm not exactly sure the name of this shrub if you know it leave it in the comments down below this shrub stays green but in spring you can see some of these little flowers that start popping up and let's see what else like for example roses some of them die down completely and in spring they start getting new leaves and getting roses as you can see my whole roll of roses they've been cut down so in spring they can pop back up and um so i want something that's gonna just be easy care and keep coming back each year and I know I understand that sometimes I'm going to have to replace a few of them because they might die that's that's understandable but I just need some flowers here maybe some flowers remove some of those succulents and have some pretty flowers popping out of there and I just want it to be colorful here in spring and summer maybe fall so I'm requesting all everybody's help please leave in the comments down below what your fl favorite flowers are tell me like right here i want to grow some flowers maybe something along here tell me um what type of flowers they are uh, am i going to expect them to die down just give me details in the descriptions name the flower name um what type of flowers they are and what should i expect once i plant them um I want some flowers there and as you can see all of this can use flowers so i'm thinking about removing that rose bush and maybe doing an edible hedge kind of like this that way it kind of closes off this section and it gives me more privacy here 
and uh, and then I have some beautiful green growing out of it I would love that anyways guys so give me some feedback let me know what your favorite flower is let me know what kind of growing habit is it and what kind of care I'm going to need anything's helpful if obviously once you guys leave me those comments I will be doing my own research but I just want something to start with because um, I'm kind of kind of lost right now and not know where to even begin so any feedback I would greatly appreciate it and if there any of them can be grown from seed that's another thing I'm interested in all right guys well i am looking forward to 2019 i'm excited on what my garden's gonna uh evolve into um as you guys can see if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know that 2017 um this garden did not look this way i did a lot of um, growing organizing moving i put this trellis to grow my passion fruit and as you guys know if you guys seen my other video videos it is growing like crazy i don't know if you guys can see how far back that goes and how crazy the passion fruit's growing so it's definitely definitely uh evolving each year and i'm excited for 2019 all right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your comments and your suggestions and just everything. All right, you guys have a blessed day. See you guys on the next one.